I'm CJ with Stutter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to transform an ugly ledge like this into a beautiful live edge slab on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. And here is the slab that I picked up. I actually picked this up off Facebook from a local uh, about 40 minutes from me, and it's 114 inches long. I think I need about 106 to cover that mantle. Uh, over here, it is 17 inches wide, 18 in the middle, 19 on the end. So I'm going to get this out into the shop. I'm going to start uh, cutting it to length as well as cleaning it up. And then I haven't decided yet if I'm going to fill these voids down here <clears throat> with epoxy or maybe try and do some bow ties. I think that would look really cool too as well. I've never done bow ties before, but you know it might be worth some DIY trial and error. I did pick up some epoxy though. So I could fill those voids with epoxy, but stay tuned for it. I'm going to get this outside. I'm going to start cleaning up the edges, start rough cutting it to length as well as sanding it. And then um, I've undecided on what finish I want to do. I'm probably going to do some type of Rubio Monaco. I've heard great things for live edge in that. So stay tuned for the rest of the process. The next part is going to be lifting this up, getting it up the stairs and up to the shop. So uh, if you're ready for a good laugh, uh, feel free to stay tuned and, and watch me try to lift this up by myself out to the shop. All right, YouTube, watch me as I take this giant freaking slab, this big old slab, out to my shop. I don't know how the hell I got it down here, but we're going to work to get it back out there. So wish me luck. Do not try this at home. Shit's heavy. It's a good thing we lift weights. So let's do this. And you're gonna watch me struggle every bit of the way. And the best part is, I can't even get it off the freaking ground. Ow. Okay, we got it. I got it. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be a bitch. I don't know how the hell I got it down here. I shouldn't have done leg day either. Ah. All right. Whoa. Whoa there, puppy. Come on, can I get a thumbs up or a like? You just gotta find the center point. Ah. Wish me luck. Yeah. 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 Woo. We're going. We did it. We got it out here. It was a pain, but we got it. That's why you take your protein, you eat healthy foods, you lift weights. Build stuff, lift weights, it all works out.
All right, so there's probably a wide variety of ways that you could attach this wood slab to this mantle. You could drill into here, find the studs, put some dowels in there, and then do it that way. But if I ever move, I'll probably take this slab with me. So I'm gonna use double-sided tape. I don't know if this is the best method, but it's part of the trial and error. Leave some comments below if uh, I'm doing this wrong and looking like an idiot, but that's part of starter build, so it is what it is. <laughs> I really like the look of it, so it's a lot better than that flooring plank that was on there before. I just applied one coat of Danish oil on there. I'm gonna put another one on there too as well. It's the first time I've ever worked with any live edge slab. I think it turned out great. I'll probably have more projects um, with, the, with the live edge slabs too as well. So stay tuned for more builds. If you like this video, be sure to comment down below what I could have done better, what you liked, what you didn't like. I'll take any type of criticism and hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I appreciate all of you and stay tuned for more builds.